good morning uh, welcome to dot programming dot com yeah, this is my uh, blog through this you can learn more 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 so first of uh, today we will learn change background image repeatedly in windows form c sharp uh, i mean to say <coughs> the background image of the form automatically change after some times or you can say after some seconds uh, looking like the slider control in the websites uh, you, you have seen some sliders uh, their images have automatically changed one by one so uh, today I am uh, talking image slider control in windows form so first of all create a windows form yeah that is uh, take some time for initialization what is the logic behind this that is first of all set image in the background um, of the uh, form control so there are the two method to set the background image of the form first method uh, set the background image at compile time or you can say design time that is go to the properties and select background image yeah that is there yeah uh, background image okay so none by default select file from the resources and uh, resources pick from the, your computer so your uh, 007 is the file now expand it but picture is not clear at this time so i would recommend to scratch images so image layout background image layout is title tiles sorry so set the scratch the background image layout is style default so scratch yeah image is properly uh, visible in given area okay so that is the layout set in the mm, compile time or design time now set to none because I want to set image at runtime and image will automatically changes after some seconds so uh, first of all initialize image before initialize component so first of all add images in the resource folder so in go to properties double click on resource folder now add existing item add some images in the resource folder I have some images like this yeah it is okay yeah four images have in resource folder so now collapse it now before initializing component set the Im image in background so this for the current object reference this dot background image equals to properties in the properties dot resources dot the given images is appear 007 is the images that is there so now save it and run this file yeah 
image appeared so now uh, I want to do with image so what is the uh, logic behind the slider control is first of all so now come to image slider now I will explain in detail what I do resource folder in the resource folder I have some images like 007.jpg second image third image fourth image and so on mm. and this is the form control form 1 default the first image will appear after then second image will appear and next 3 and net 4 after uh, some seconds okay so change image one by one okay one by one so uh, use the timer control timer tm equals to new timer control tm dot interval equals to 1000 uh, default is of one second tm dot tick tick is a event uh, that is raised after interval is completed so new event handler is a event pass the method which you want to uh, generated on tick event now right click and generate the method stub yeah that is method now I want to add a list with the image types oops a plus equals to add by value operator so now add a list with the image type so in the bitmap is image type b1 equals to new list oops bitmap is not there <coughs> list with the bitmap type so now b1 dot add images in the list so copied it and paste it in the add method that is now oops copy the above line b1 dot add this line and paste it here now change the image that is ESP.NET validator it is the name of the image which is reside in the source folder now the main logic after this this dot background image is this b1 but what I index I select that is the main point so index in select equals to datetime dot now dot seconds that is the logic date time dot now dot seconds percentage I have only two images so uh, we can find a remainder only with the two number so that is the index so now save this and start it so tm dot start tick event is start after the method will call uh, images will automatically changes but I have only two images 
so remainder find with the number 2 okay so now the logic behind this integer index equals to date time dot now dot seconds that is your system your current date times or you can say your current seconds your current system seconds that is 30 31 32 is a seconds so each seconds will increases one by one so that is second is 1 to 60 so now your second is sorry uh, your second is 34 suppose your second is 34 a remainder of the 2 is 0 so the first index so first image will appear that that is 007 now list that is only the two images will appear with the remainder 2 first to jpg second dot jpg okay if on the if your second will increases by 1 that is 35 second remainder of 2 is 1 then second image will appear okay suppose you have the third images in your list then what i do that is b1 dot add properties dot resources dot change the image here banner save this and start it it's not enough remainder number because the third number will not get so what is this what i do uh you can see that uh, the number of uh, number of images increases the number of counter that is 2 with the two images the remainder find by the two three images in the list so remainder find by the three that is there that is there if images in the list is four then remainder find by four number oops here is my pencil lock ah uh, that is not this one so what i do uh, number of images increases in the list so remainder is also incremented by 1 with the images so find the number of items in the list that is the solution so if i uh, have fourth four images in the list box then remainder find by 4 so that logic is b1 dot count number of items count in the list okay that is the solution of the problem three images that properly images display one by one dot count equals to 4 so seconds remainder b1 dot count number of list item that is b1 dot count 
seconds remainder even dot count <coughs> So thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial